Yeah. Okay. So look, that's it. So the reason why I brought this in for you today is look up, as a, as a, as a, the reason why I brought this article in is one of the complaints that people said is that when they do the reading comprehension, it's too long. The passages are too long. This is number one complaint. Another one is too boring. So, uh, so one of the things that we're going to be doing in this class is looking for shorter things to read that you personally find interesting. So I found this in A and New York. And when I ask you in general to find something, so find articles or something in the internet that you personally think is interesting, that's short, that you're going to want to bring it so we can practice reading comprehension on things you like. So for example, Jay-Z just released a new album versus Justin Timberlake. So that could be, you might say, I like Jay-Z. I want to bring in an article about his new album. So we would read that article and create questions so that we can see, oh, reading comprehension is everything in everyday life. And we can make things that are more interesting for us that are small. So I, I saw this today, and I was thinking with you guys, because this is like a lot of boys in this class, I was thinking maybe you might be interested in sports or jokes, and there's some funny people here. So this is a short, short passage, and we're going to look for the questions first. Okay? So again, keeping in mind, to help motivate you, we're going to bring in our own material that's short and write our own questions. That by the time the test comes, there's nothing for you to do in our friends. You do all the time. And it's not that boring. All right? All right. So let's take a look at this. Who's reading the first paragraph? OK, Sergio. A woman team who ran onto the field during Tuesday in all star game was arranged in on charges of interfering with the professional sporting event yesterday. So stop. Before we go on further, did any of the questions get answered so far? If so, before you answer out loud, highlight where you saw the answers and tell me what number it was. Just in that first paragraph. I saw at least two answers. Don't say it. First, I it with your high letters. And did you write what answer? What, what question number is? I don't see the numbers. You vote? I don't see if you're talking. Again, you're in that head information. You do that head thing. Write the answer, number. Let's see the numbers. Numbers. I don't know what number you're highlighting. Right. Take a look. Remember, he's gonna, this is the answers. He's telling you where he's finding the answers. But he, that's a little more tricky. The teenagers from Long Island, I didn't say it's the English from Long Island. Right. Yeah. Okay, now, yep. What numbers did you get answered so far? One and three. One and three? Um, and two. It's not exactly. It's like it's two. It didn't say his name, that's in paragraph two. For sure, it said when. Two. That's when, that's number four. All Star Game on Tuesday. So underline that. The all, the, and the all, that could be a, a where. Where? Number two, All Star Game. And when is. Right. Because this isn't from the regions. On the regions, it's always in order. I just wrote this myself, but you can get two points for notion that it's not in order. You put plus two on yours. Right. So again, when you have rules in general, sometimes the rules are 100% apply, sometimes it's just a trick. Could be, could be not. All right? No, we'd be good. Okay. All right, so now we know the answer for, OK? <laughs> Uh, it was a 